Hello, welcome back to our channel is your learning with Divya. Students, in today's video, let us solve half yearly practice question paper of grade 3. First main, fill in the blanks. First question, the answer in division is called as quotient. Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T. Second question. 23 into 70. 23 multiplied 70 times is equal to first bring out 1 0 that is from 70 next. 7 3 times is 21. 1 here 2 carried. 7 2 times is 14. 14 plus 2 is 16. So 1610. Next question. 84 divided by 0. Any number divided with 0 will be 0. Next. In the division, 50 divided by 5. Here, what is the dividend? Dividend is the greater number, which will be divided by the smaller number, that is divisor. So, 5 will be the divisor and 50 is the dividend. So, we have to write here dividend. So, 50. Next, if 8 into 9 equals 72, then 72 divided by what will be 9? 72 divided by 8 will be 9. Next, 27 in equal group of 3 is dash groups. 3, what times is 27? 3, 9 times is 27. So, 27 in equal group of 3 is 9 groups. Here, 4359 multiplied by 1000 is Again, here we need to bring out the three zeros first. Then, 4,359 into 1 is 4,359. So, the product will be 43,59,000. Division is repeated. Subtraction. S-U-B-T-R-A-C. T I O N. Division is nothing but repeated subtraction. Second main. Do as directed. First question multiply. Multiply 59 into 50 is the first question. So here again we will bring out 1 0 first and then 5 9 times is 45. 5 here 4 carry. 5 5 times is 25 plus 4 is 29. So the answer is the product is 2950. Here bring out two zeros first and then 4, 9 times is 36, 6 here, 3 carried, 4, 2 times is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11. So it is 11,600. Next question, divide 15 divided by 5. 5 what times is 15? 5, 3 times is 15. So, 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Here, 24 divided by 6. 6 what times is 24? 6, 4 times is 24. So, 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Here, in the third question, write the division facts for the following. All the multiplication facts will have two division facts, right? So, here 3 into 6 equals 18. In division fact, we'll write as 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Is one division fact. One more is 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Here, 9 into, 40, 9 into 5 equals 45. 45 divided by 5 equals 9 and 45 divided by 9 equals 5. Next question. Solve. Divide using long division method. We have to use long division method to divide this number. So, 7. What times is 63? 7, 9 times is 63. Here, the quotient is 9 and the remainder is 0. Next here, 8, 64 divided by 8. 
So 8, 8 times is 64. 64 minus 64 is 0. So the quotient is 8 and the remainder is 0. Next question, multiply. Here we have to multiply two numbers with two digits. So here first we will multiply with 1s and then move to 10s. Here 2, 0 times is 0. 2, 6 times is 12. 4, 0 times is 4 but we will leave the 1s place empty as we are multiplying with 10s place. So empty or you can write 0 or plus. 4, 0 times is 0 and 6, 4 times is 24. Now add 0, 2 plus 0, 2, 4 plus 1, 5, 2 as it is 2 and nothing is 2 itself. So 60 into 45 equals 2520. Similarly, 9, 2 times is 18, 8 here, 1 carried, 9, 4 times is 36, 36 plus 1 is 37. Next, we will multiply with 10, so we will start from 10's place. 3, 2 times is 6. 3, 4 times is 12. Add both the numbers now. 8, 6 plus 7, 13, 1 carry. 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 1 as it is. So, 1,638. Look at the next question. Divide using the repeated subtraction method. Here, we know that division is repeated subtraction. So, here... 45 minus 9 equals 36. 36 minus 9 equals 27. 27 minus 9 equals 18. 18 minus 9 equals 9. And 9 minus 9 equals 0. So how many times? We subtracted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So 45 divided by 5 equals 5. Similarly, 30 minus 5 equals 25. 25 minus 5 equals 20. 20 minus 5 equals 15. 15 minus 5 equals 10. 10 minus 5 equals 5. 5 minus 5 equals 0. So how many times we subtracted here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So... 30 divided by 5 equals 6. Here we need to solve the given story sum. It is a statement sum. So we will have to read the question, understand the given statement and then solve. There are 56 sweets in a packet. If the sweets are distributed among 7 children, then how many sweets will each one get? 56 sweets are there which has to be distributed among 7. Distributed is nothing but divided. So we can say we will have to divide 56 sweets among 7 children. So how many sweets will each one get we will be able to find out. So first we will write number of sweets in a packet. Number of children are 7. Number of sweets in a packet, 56. Number of children, 7. Number of sweets each child gets equals 56 divided by 7. 7. What times is 56? Is it divisible exactly? Yes. 7, 8 times is 56. So here we can say each child gets 8 sweets. Students, I hope the questions were useful. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting.